Hello, it's your boy Fenton here, doing the monster train. Had a bad time last time, didn't we? With uh, Stygian Awoken, didn't really come together. Let's try Umbra, rank, Covenant rank 22, let's go. Who we got? It's Umbra Hellhorned. I may have said Awoken previously when I meant Hellhorned, I don't know, I always get them mixed up for some reason. Two Antumbra Assaults, two Hidden Passages, and a Cave-In. Wow, lots of Ascend and Descend. Lots of Sends. Many Sends. And final boss is Seraph the Chase. Friendly units enter with Armor 5. Is that good? Makes Morsels show up with Armor 5? Is that sensible? Yes, it means they'll live potentially from a from a, an annoying attack or some spikes or friendly units gain plus two on kill like that's eh, I mean that's nothing here right like let's take the armor trample or life steal oh hey I'm pretty sure the last uh, Umbra run we had, I had this exact choice and took the lifesteal and ended up being amazing, but only because we got the artifact which made Gorges work twice. But I still think it's better than Trample and Four Space. I believe. I don't know. I'm no expert. Enemy units enter with armor 10. I don't like that. That's too much. That's that's too much. Descend friendly and enemy units on this floor. And apply dazed. No, that's a different card. I don't like it. It's too scary. I, it scares me. I am scared. This is an interesting combination that I don't really get that often, it feels like. And I'm notoriously bad at managing my space on the floors. Let's not waste a lifesteal on you. I believe that's how it would work, that you would just waste a lifesteal from taking an attack. Um. I'm notoriously bad at managing my space and planning ahead for my s for space. Like, see, I've already like now meant made it so I can't put morses on this floor because I didn't really think about that plan beyond just doing that, which I didn't even need to do. I could have just played the train steward here, but for some reason I thought there wasn't enough space on this floor. I uh, shouldn't need it. Shouldn't need to eat any more morsels to win the fight. I love doing that. I just love doing that for some reason. It just I find it very funny. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Uh, it's just funny to me. Having the boss leave and the enemy on the same floor being all like, uh, what? Excuse me? Where have you gone? And then just getting absolutely owned by the hammer. Getting frozen. Mind collapse. Muscle miner. Space prison. Don't really have to make too much of a choice there. Another hidden passage. No. An imp with absolutely no other imp support of any kind is a no from me, dog. I guess we take magic, seeing as we don't have any units to upgrade. Or we take an Umbra banner, possibly with a unit to upgrade. That sounds more sensible to me. Strength, fury, endless. So there's the endless that we missed last time. 
Crucible Warden, Morsel Maker. Maybe Morsel Maker and Penumbra probably go on the same floor, and then I don't worry about that floor anymore. Just leave it at the top. And it just does all the work. And then, what am I playing Shade Splitters for, though, in that scenario? Nothing. Maybe Crucible Warden. I want both. <laughs> if I could take both at once, I would. So the problem with this is... So if the top floor is small, or if it doesn't matter because we're only playing on one floor at the moment. So we play Penumbra and Morsel Maker on a floor together. Morsel Maker then makes two morsels, meaning the floor has three, four, five, six of its capacity used. We can't then play any more morsels on that floor. Making the shade split is irrelevant. We can feed them feed the morsels to train stewards, whoop de doo Or we take Crucible Warden. The problem with taking Crucible Warden is we don't really have much more morsel generation. I suppose we have two and Tumber Assaults. It's hard to split the morsels up between the two floors in a meaningful way. And I've talked before about how Crucible Warden just pales in comparison to a Crucible Collector because lifesteal is like 10 times better, just because of how the game works. I think I will take a Morsel Maker now, in the hopes that it will be good later. And I will give it plus 10, because I can't think of anything else to give it for any other reason. And then other than that, I'm just going to leave. non-boss enemy units get plus four and for a unit draft. I will take that one. I will take that one. Because a unit draft sounds like it will be very very helpful. The bottom floor is small, which is fine by me. I can actually get one morsel out of this manually. And then after that... Oh, and this turn as well, because they go in dazed, don't they? So even the space here does nothing. One attack from Encant. Uh, do I care about that? I suppose I do. I'd rather give you one extra health and not take nine. Like, that's pretty simple math, as far as I'm concerned. And you're life stealing regardless, so you. Uh, there's no point in playing the space there, is there? We've, esta if we've established that. I'll give you one health, one uh, extra attack so that I can play some more trained stewards down here when I draw them, because I'm going to draw. I feel like I've still got a couple in the deck, yeah. This combat's quite easy, isn't it? <laughs> um, I need to, I really do need to get to that point of the game where I feel like I know which fight is which. 74 from train stewards, man, like, cool. And then what, you only need to go like two rounds? Kapla! Good. Unit. Mine collapse. Perils of production. I don't know why this is gilded. I never remember taking it. It sounds like it's bad. It's possibly like maybe one of the first runs I did and I didn't know what cards were good and why they were good. Or why they were bad. Scoop! Piercing. Deal 5 damage. 
Do we need that? Uh, don't know. Seems like it could be good. Five damage, though. Where am I going to a Merchant of Magic? No, I'm not going to any upgrades at all. I guess I'm going to a hell vent for whatever good unit comes out of this thing. Let's skip this. It's not it's not working for me. Ugh. Ugh, I am upset. Demon Fiend doesn't get played unless you get a morsel that gives you energy on the turn before you draw it. Penumbra, Branded Warrior, Morsel Maker, but you then have to have the Space Prism down before you do that, so you have to draw the Space Prism in the first or second turn because of how Unit Priority works. That's bad, isn't it? I'm going to go with a no and go to this Umbra Banner and hope for a Crucible Collector, I suppose, is the play. Ah, he's the best. So much ascending and descending in the deck, isn't there? Like, I don't really want either of these, though. Is this... this, this is alright, though, right? As far as cards go, it's actually not bad. He says, clicking leave. Confidently clicking leave. Um, dupe to the Morsel Maker and have a floor that's Crucible Collector Morsel Maker and that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? It messes up unit priority slightly, slightly, but not much. Oh no, this costs two. Don't. Uh, would there have been a way around that? Just tank, <laughs> just tank 10 from the bomb. Okay. It's more important that, I've done it, like, Oh, with the five armor as well. Ah, I feel bad. I feel silly. Well, let's just hope that this is enough to win on its own. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Probably be alright. Probably. Hang on, which one? Full health. Oh, lifesteal, obviously. Obviously. I mean, this penumbra is going to be a massive, massive thing. It's going to be humongous, but it still won't do anything outside of the front unit, which is obviously a problem. Well, you've got life still, actually. You only do two attack? Like... So we're taking some damage there on that, this floor. 
but again, not a huge amount. Oh, how do you still take 38? Oh, because the morsel I put plus 10 on the morsel masters makers. I can't actually send that thing anymore. So I'll take two, three, because of the extinguish. We won't be having that. number is massive. Absolutely humongous. Okay. There's no way we lose this combat, and it's funny that it still went extremely well because of the horrendous mistake I made straight away. So we don't need the space, we need the energy, so that we can actually play to a uh, Morsel Mark Maker. Well, it was only because we wanted to get rid of that bomb. 5 damage, 7 rage on Penumbra every now and then. Sounds like it might be alright. Forever consumed, though. I'm gonna take this. I have obviously not ever really, not ever won a run with it, so. And uh, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this one. I feel like we got enough stuff happening for now. Right? Not got enough morsels to split between any more of this and don't have the space for a Horned Warrior, even though Horned Warrior is good. I'm going to skip. And I'm going to take energy. I think. I mean, I have taken it, but I don't necessarily know if that was the best idea or not. Let's get some upgrades, shall we? Endless. Damage shield 2. Endless. An endless Crucible Collector. Don't know. Was it damage shield 2, 5 and 10 and endless? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alpha Fiend is back. Is Alpha Fiend worthy of a slot? If I can put... I mean, putting Endless on him is irrelevant, because then he just goes back down to zero when he goes on top of the deck. And he costs two as well. So we can do Penumbra Morsel Maker is a flaw, regardless of space. The same with Crucible Collector. Crucible Collector Morsel Maker is only three. But it will be five once a morsel maker. This is what I always forget. A morsel maker will, at the end of their turn, summon two morsels. <laughs> Even though it prints that on the card, I realise that that should be obvious. But that doesn't mean that that means that the floor is already full. What was in the shop? Damage shield, plus five ten, and endless. I think it messes up the draw the draw priority too much. But I'm just thinking like if we draw Alpha Fiend turn one and, and not any other units, putting him on the bottom is it's not that great, is it? It's twenty five is not a huge amount of health. I'm gonna skip. And I'm gonna re roll this. For what though? Plus 25 on you is a very good idea. 
possibly also just damage shield 2 on you, just so that you've got a bit of survivability if should the worst happen. Multi-strike though would be good, because you're going to eat a lot of morsels. 350 gold. Let's get rid of some of these bloody train stewards. The deck feels clunky, and it feels like I'm making the key mistake of not doing enough to it, and just assuming that it's going to be fine, and then it probably won't be. But I guess that's my mistake to make. I guess there's not really much we can do beyond trying. Don't need the money. Don't think that we can deal with that. through, didn't it? Wow, look at me playing a trench dude on the middle, knowing full well I had to play a Morsel Maker and a Crucible Collector there. Aren't I the best? This, this actually, if you go away then this floor does so little damage. I don't get you, but you know. looked a lot worse than it was, those four units on that floor. See, if I can have another couple of units down here, I'm, I'm worried about adding two more units to the deck, though. Like, it scares me. Six ninety-five. that's... You know, you need to go up there and actually buy me some flipping time and space on both of these floors does so little. <laughs> it does nothing, in fact. I say so little, what I mean is it does nothing. There's nothing to play. There's no reason to play any more cards. We took some damage there. What can we? What can I say? Get rid of that haste for sure. Right. So. There's nothing else to do with the deck, is the worry is the problem I've got now. Like, there is nothing else to do. Thank God for that. But I'm gonna take a whole bunch of damage here as well. Cause I need I need more than this, don't I? It's not working. You need multi strike. Or, or I need something with sweep. I got no answer to the back line, except for the torches and the entumber assaults, which is not good enough. Yeah, I keep looking at it like something else is going to happen, but. Another 18. I mean, you are, you are dead, okay? Like, let's at least... We do a lot of damage to the one front unit. We don't have any sweep. Anything like that. The lifesteal is good. This is a strong strategy for dealing a lot of damage. Crucible extension. Can we play that very often? 
and just get loads of space for loads of morsels. We don't need much more space, really. Like, if the middle floor is... If the Crucible Collector Morsel Maker floor is... 5, then we can play Space Prism on it to get it to at least summon one extra morsel. And then, alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Inferno. Piercing 100 damage. And we'll just play this on the bottom, right? Give this hold over. Alright, okay. Alright. Alright. Give that hold over. Play that on the bottom floor every turn. Yes! And the flipping minus one is there as well. Just play that on the bottom floor every turn. That deals with the back line. And does a hell of a lot of damage to boot. What you got for me? Ooh, big chest, small chest. Good face, bad face. I actually need any of it. I want to keep my fire health. Thank you very much. Okay, we have a plan now at least. What does this do? Deal 25 damage and 7 rage instead. We have a plan. We have a plan. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. Sounds atrocious. Floor small, top, that's fine. Yeah, I'll ping one of you out of the way. Why not? Makes no odds to me. Uh, nothing else to do here except play both Morsel Makers, which is sad because I'm throwing away 75 gold. The deck is quite small. Do I do this? Am I about to do this? No, oh, it gives you plus 10. You're going to get plus 10 anyway. Oh, you're almost certainly getting through. Big brain plays there. taking a lot of damage, basically all of the time, right? Can't really give you more armor. Can't really give you more armor, even though I really, really want to. Can I, though? You're on 88, you're going to hit 27, go down to 61. So you're going to take... I'm going to take 24 from you regardless. But, if I do this, and then play the two Magna Morsels, I kind of... Oh no, you're dazed, of course. Of course you are. Alright, let's be exceptionally strange about what is happening here. Oh, it's Harvest, it's not in camp. Why did I think it was in camp? Because I'm bad. Alright, that did enough damage to only take uh, 16 off of you. Which, you know, is still quite a lot. Oh, 
Oh, Inferno's finally here. Oh, oh. Oh no, it, de it descends the Crucible Collector as well. Uh, it's going to descend it and just play Inferno for silly, silly numbers. Well, that's why that's good. I hope you can at least appreciate that. So, this card is garbage. Right, isn't it? 68, that does absolutely nothing. I'd rather not take 9. Ah, you've got lifesteal though. But I'd rather. I'm gonna take 9 when this goes up to the top, so. I'm taking so much damage here. I might even, in fact, just be dead. No, I'm not dead. It's not great. <laughs> it's self made RP, but it's Crucible Collector with six life steal, so. Uh, which one of these do I want you to have? Probably... Oh no, you got flipping... Ah. The shield has come back to bite me. It's alright, we got six rounds of uh, lifesteal on this dude. 208? That doesn't seem correct. That doesn't seem correct at all. Oh, you only do 26 damage. That's probably where I've gone wrong here. So I'm in dire straits, basically. Because you don't live for very long either with that in that scenario. Alright, well if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out in style. Although 328, I don't wanna play this and then suddenly lose because I didn't run the numbers properly. But I don't see how that, I don't see how that can possibly fail. But then if it doesn't fail, then why would I not just leave it? And at least you would get two more turns of... Because if I descend them all, then the morsels get eaten by the Crucible Collector, and this goes up to eight lifesteal, which gives me eight turns, and then Penumbra gets eight turns as well. Yeah, good. It probably would have worked either way. In fact, it almost certainly would have done, like actually doing a lot of damage on that top floor. I really, you know, I don't want to risk it. If we'd have drawn Inferno earlier, that combat would have been a lot better. So the deck basically just needs to be smaller. So I'm not going to add these cards because they don't help. Sacrifice Imp. Gain two energy, draw one card. That would be great if I had any imps at all. Okay, six health. I'm not worried. We do have the pyre. No, that was the last one. That was the previous run. Okay, good stuff. So we take 20 pyre health and we duplicate the inferno so that we find it quickly. Correct. I mean, stop me if I'm wrong. And then really we can just play both of those every turn and hope for the best. Hmm. When you play your first play each turn, restore 5 pyre health. Add. How many do these do I add? Three vegetable shards. Do I have the energy for these? Do I have the draw to make them worthwhile? Not really. Why would I add 
three cards that deal 100 damage to the front enemy unit once when I've got two cards that deal 100 damage to all the units every turn. So there is... There is a world here where we just play holdover infernos on the bottom floor every turn while Morsel Micers feed our other two units. 6 times 2. Alright, well that's extremely annoying, but it is not the end of the world. Take 43? Please tell me you're getting at least one damage shield. No, of course not, because they're from this. Oh. That's bad, isn't it? So now you've got lifesteal, but, <laughs> but, but you die because you don't get to do any damage before. Wow. And you're just getting through as well. Turns out the deck's not very good. I'm dead. I am dead. Unless... Unless... Now stay with me on this one. We win without any units. Okay? fell moving around in such a way that I can actually do 100 damage to it every turn. But we'll do 600 damage to it as it climbs. I can actually play this here. Because we'll just play on the top. Let's move to the top as well same logic here. Play it on fell rather than kill an enemy that... Wow, we missed it. Didn't go all in on that strategy soon enough. And we have to do this or else we die next turn regardless. Oh no we don't. Because you only do 24. It would have been nice if that worked, <laughs> you know? It would have been funny. I don't think you've got enough turns to do that if you get it turn one. Maybe. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Well, it's miserable, wasn't it? That was miserable. Two losses in a row, what could I say? Um, what was the inflection point there? What did we do? It was too slow, basically, wasn't it? Like, Morsel Maker's Crucible Collector just doesn't get enough done early enough. Especially if you play Penumbra on the top, because then they're dazed. Maybe you play Penumbra on the bottom. 
and then at least it starts ticking up earlier rather than later. But we just had no sweep, we had no backline. Like the Inferno was a good idea, and I, I, I imagine there is a draw, there is an order of the drawing the cards in that fight where you do actually get it done, because you draw Inferno, Penumbra, Crucible, Cruci Penumbra, Morsel Maker, Inferno, turn one. But then turn two, you've got another Inferno. Well, you could draw an Inferno and a Crucible Collector and not the Morsel Maker, I suppose, and then get the Morsel Maker on the third turn. That's extremely specific, though. You can't, whoops, you can't really build a deck where the only way you win is from that extremely specific draw. I've gone off the screen. No, I've gone off the screen. Well, the 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 bloody YouTube pop-up things will just have to go here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry, it's not been going very well, has it? The game's hard. Maybe it's not that hard. I've seen players on like 10 win streaks at Covenant 25, so... But you know, they've got 400 hours in the game. I've got, check notes, 60. So, plus, I'm not the brightest spark. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time, where hopefully we'll win. Bye-bye.